That's a standard psilocybin mushroom. We're out in the bush at a property frequented by those in search of a fungi fueled high. It's a problem no matter which way we look at it. But it seems to be one of those problems that's kind of hidden. You know? I'm driving with local police on their scout for people picking psilocybin mushrooms or magic mushrooms. This has become part of the daily routine for Sergeant Al McNevin as the mushrooms sprout from the fertile forest floor at this time of year. There's someone right there. I was going for him right there. Police find a young man who admits he was searching for mushrooms but dumped them before police arrived. Have you ever had the poison effects of them? Uh, have you ever been ill from them? Not really. We're well aware of the effects it can have on people. Yeah, it can be quite mild, but it can also be really dangerous. What the free-spirited foragers don't know is that this is actually private property, so not only do they risk getting caught with drug possession, but they can be hit with trespass too. All right, you're not actually in possession of it right now. All right, and I appreciate your honesty, yeah. but in saying so, you're still trespassing on yeah. land that's owned by, by a private person. Yeah. So Matt's going to write you what's yeah. called a move-on notice. Yeah. If you do not obey this order, you may be liable to a fine of $12,000 and imprisonment for 12 months. Police aren't there to, to you know, be overbearing and and rigid at, at the worst of times. That they're, Sometimes we're there to try and educate that it's unsafe to take the drug, then maybe one in ten will get through to it. So, you know. We'll see if we can find some more. I'll go have a look, Matt, while you yep. run it up. Okay, well. Police have found a car parked up with dirt-covered plastic buckets and gardening tools in the front seat and boot, a clear sign that whoever owns the vehicle is on the hunt for a high. But the owner is nowhere to be seen, so police leave a calling card for them to find. So we're going to put a little note on the car. It's been recorded. We generally put those on, on abandoned vehicles. Then I leave my business card with a polite note saying, if you are here mushrooming, please be aware this is privately owned land, not state forest, you can't be here. Generally speaking, people won't come back. Anywhere. Just down the road, police spot a group of five young men clutching a brown paper bag each. The men are each issued a summons for possessing the illicit drug psilocybin and they'll have to face court at a later date. Some people might think, you know, that they're just going to get a fun high from a natural substance, but you've seen the really bad effects of this drug in town. Can you talk us through that? It obviously affects different people and affects them in, in different ways. But um, just last year, we had uh, a, a tourist that was, that was working and living in this area. He went missing for four days. And over that four days, he had no recollection whatsoever of where he was, um, apart from uh, remembering sleeping under a log. He drove to the Perth region. He went to a gym that he wasn't a member of for three hours and worked out like he was an Olympian. He drove his car to a, um, a car dealership, sold his eight to $10,000 car for $1,000. Once again, having no idea what he was doing. That's four days of his life he'll never get back and four days that he doesn't remember. And all he could say to the police at the time was that he was so afraid of what was going on because he had no control over himself whatsoever. And that's what we're trying to educate people um, in relation to the dangers of the mushroom. People talk of it jovially, like it's you know, something they can throw in a brownie or that they can you know, throw, in, throw in soup, but the hazardous effect on it, on your body is alone is terrible, plus the impact that it has on, on us as serving police officers trying to protect our community, it takes us away from our normal jobs. Sergeant McNevin says while the mushroom season does take away from other police work, it's vital officers try to prevent the picking and educate those they find about the damaging effects the drugs can have. Obviously with this rain, it tends to drag people here, as you saw this morning. I mean, we had a heavy rainfall this morning and all of a sudden the skies have cleared a little bit and we have an influx of cars coming through. So we may get that call that we don't want to get when we're halfway out of town doing a highway patrol for road safety. And they'll say, oh, someone's at the coffee shop and they're wearing their just, just a pair of pants and a bra and they're crying and laughing at the front sitting on a chair. There's some things we don't want to get.